Yo, 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 it's your boy Weston Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow your craft. Now, today we're going to go over should you use Tool Loss for music distribution, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's currently considering using Tool Loss for music distribution, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about Tool Loss and whether it's actually the right fit for you or not for music distribution, all right? Now, before we continue, I definitely wanna let you guys know about my free music business checklist that's available on my website right now to download for free, all right? This checklist is for those of you who's looking into starting your own music business as an independent artist, but don't quite know exactly where to start, all right? With this tool, you'll actually be able to identify three things that you can do right away to start your own music business, all right? So if you wanna go ahead and grab that, you can click on the link above that'll bring you directly to my website where you can download it for free or you can click the link on the descriptions below all right now when it comes to two loss as a music distribution company i'll be honest with you guys it's actually a really really great company all right there's a lot of things that i noticed with this company that i haven't been able to find anywhere else with any other distribution companies so it really really is a great music distribution company and of course i'm going to explain all the different things that i've noticed that caught my attention when it comes to two loss as a music distribution company all right so when it comes to music distribution companies of course the first thing that we always talk about the first thing that everybody always wants to know is the actual pricing all right so so when it comes to two loss, two loss actually have one of the most competitive prices in the market because they are actually only $2.99 per month or $19.99 a year, all right? Which is actually really, really good considering that one of the best music distribution companies price-wise is obviously DistroKid, which is $20 a year as well. So with two loss, you're actually looking at the exact same amount that you would be for DistroKid. I believe it's the exact same amount that you would be looking for TuneCore as well because TuneCore Tool core is also $20 a year. So you're not spending any more to have two loss as a music distribution company versus those two music distribution companies. So really what you would be deciding on is which one has the best benefits, which one has the best perks, and which one pays out the most in royalties, all right? Now, speaking on royalties, that'll be the sec second thing that we'll go over. When it comes to royalties with two loss, they're just as competitive as the other music distribution companies because they actually pay out a hundred percent in their music royalties when it comes to all your streaming music all right this is the same for distro kid this is the same for tune core this is the same for a lot of different music distribution companies i will be honest about that but if you're looking into like i said Picking two loss and comparing it to other music distribution companies is right in line with everything else, right? So you keep 100% of your music royalties. But where I noticed that two loss actually has the edge versus all the other music distribution companies, and actually two loss is the only company that I have noticed to actually do this, is that they will actually still pay you your royalties even if you cancel your subscription, all right? And this is extremely extremely important and awesome because with other distribution companies like DistroKid, for example if you were to cancel your service with them they would actually remove your music from the online stores and that's it your music will no longer be up TuneCore does the exact same thing if you cannot pay TuneCore anymore they will take your music down and your music will no longer be in streaming services and you will no longer get paid for them all right now distro kid does have this additional feature called leave a legacy where if for any reason you're unable to pay they will actually keep your music up but you have to pay 29 dollars extra per song in order to have that feature on your music and like i said you have to pay that per song all right with two loss two loss i believe has the best benefit when it comes to this in particular because if you cancel with two loss they won't take your music down your music will stay up the only thing different that will happen is instead of them paying 100% of your royalties, they will actually keep 15% and you will continue to retain 85% of your royalties, which is absolutely incredible because there are some music distribution companies that, out there that will only pay you 85% of royalties anyway. So considering the fact that Two Loss will still give you 85% of your royalties, even if you cancel your subscription or you can no longer pay for it, that is absolutely incredible. 
specifically because they will leave your music up. They won't take your music down, which means you won't lose your stream count. You won't lose your plays. The only thing that you will lose is an additional 15% of your royalties. And if you ever decide to come back, you can always resubscribe and go back to 100% payouts on your royalties. So this benefit alone makes two loss one of a kind in a sense, because like I said, I never seen anything like this in particular when it comes to other music distribution companies, all right? Now with the royalties out the way, the next most important thing that every independent artist always wants to look for when it comes to a music distribution is do they have YouTube content ID? And is there extra cost for it? Is it, is uh, what's the percentages for all of that, all right? Well, yes, Two Loss does have YouTube content ID. It comes customary with the service and you don't have to pay anything extra for it. Of course, Distro Kid, you have to pay an extra $5 per song for YouTube content ID. It comes standard with TuneCore, but most people don't want TuneCore anyway. I would never recommend TuneCore anyway, right? Now, the one edge that Two Loss has versus DistroKid, for example, or all the other music distribution companies is they surprisingly pay out a hundred percent of YouTube content ID to artists. I'm going to be real with you guys. I didn't even think this was possible. The reason I say that is because pretty much every distribution company on the market keeps 20% of the YouTube content ID royalties. DistroKid, you got to pay $5 plus. They're keeping 20% of your YouTube content ID royalties, which means you only retain 80%. Um, Toolcore, you only you only keep 80%. All of the other ones out there, you only keep 80%. Tool Loss is the first distribution company that I have come across that will actually let you keep 100% of your YouTube content ID royalties. That is absolutely incredible. That's absolutely awesome. It's almost unbelievable in a sense, but it is factual. It is the truth. They will actually pay you out 100% of your YouTube content royalties. So this is another thing that's, of course, I know is very, very important to artists. And honestly, they're a step above all the other music distribution companies because you will actually retain 100% of that. So yes, they have the YouTube content ID. Yes, you will keep 100% of that. Yes, you will get your royalties at 100% as well, which makes Two Loss really competitive when you consider it amongst all the other distribution companies, all right? Now that we got all the important stuff out the way, because those are the questions that I always have when it comes to music distribution companies, is, is the prices, is the royalty payouts, and it's of course, do they have YouTube content ID? So Two Loss checks all the boxes for all of those things. So really, where we're comparing it uh, for the long run is what benefits do they have? What services do they have? What perks do they have? And I'm gonna go over all of the perks that actually stood out to me personally, all the perks that made Two Loss actually stand out as a music distribution company versus other music distribution companies, all right? Now, the first thing is of course, their additional services, all right? They're also known as their additional benefits, all right? They have some additional benefits that isn't really found with other distribution companies all right of course we already went over youtube content id yes they have that here but as you can see these are all the additional benefits that they have all right some of the key ones that you may want to focus on is of course the soundcloud right soundcloud's monetization and content protection this is big this is awesome because a lot of music distribution companies actually don't monetize your soundcloud if you're just releasing music on your soundcloud without doing any matter metadata or anything you're not getting paid off for your music on soundcloud which is why i typically don't recommend people putting their music on soundcloud but if you have someone if you have a music distribution like two lost that will actually make sure you get your money from soundcloud it actually is a beautiful thing and there would be nothing wrong with it from that point so it's very very awesome that two lost actually has soundcloud monetization and it's also very awesome that they also have sound exchange payouts which means that they could administer your sound exchange payouts right which means that 
You don't always have to go to Sound Exchange directly to get your payouts. I believe they st you still got to go over there for either publishing or artists. You got to go over there for one of them, but they actually administer the payouts for the other one, which is awesome as well because it, it makes it easier for you as an artist to make sure that you're collecting all your royalties. And this is one of those things that I also noticed as well. You're not going to find with a lot of other music distribution companies. They don't actually connect to Sound Exchange at all. Distro Kid doesn't, TuneCore doesn't, United, none of those other du music distribution companies have this. So this as well is something that is set apart versus other music distribution companies, all right? So I definitely want to mention that there. Now, the next thing that, of course, I noticed that Two Loss has that is really, really awesome as well is cover song licensing. This is absolutely crazy, right? Because... To be completely candid, I did a re video recently in regards to DistroKid actually being able to offer cover licenses when you're actually uploading your music through DistroKid. And when I did that video, I was excited about making that video because at that time, DistroKid, it, at least according to my knowledge, DistroKid was the only music distribution company that actually did the cover song licensing for you upon upload. You can literally upload your music, get the song licensing, they'll do everything for, for you, and all you had to do was pay a dollar a month or $12 a year, all right? That's absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. But here we go with Two Loss actually offering the same thing, and you know what? Their cover song licensing agreement is better than DistroKid because DistroKid is $12 a year. You have to pay that every year to keep that cover song license with two loss it's just one a one-time fee of $14.99 all right this is again something that you won't find anywhere else like I told you I just found out that distro kid had it and I believe distro kid and two loss right now are really the only two people who even offer cover song licenses through their actual system as you're uploading of course you could always go out and get cover song licenses by yourself through some third party or some other company. But it's awesome to be able to actually go to your music distribution company upon upload of your music, actually get the cover song license all in one go as you're uploading your music, as you get into release your music. I don't think there's anything better than that, especially if you're an artist who does a lot of cover songs and you actually want to make an income from your cover song. So this is an amazing benefit that Two Loss has. Like I said, the only one that, uh, the only other person who has it right now is Distro Kid. So Two Loss is way up there. And if it's not better than Distro Kid, at least on paper, it's definitely up there with it. All right. So cover songs is the next thing. Now, the next thing that I noticed or the next benefit that I noticed that Two Loss had that other music distribution companies don't have, they have royalty split features. All right. Now, these royalty split features, the, you can find this with other distribution companies as well. DistroKid, I believe, has royalty split features. All right. Um, TuneCore might have royalty split features. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. All right. But they do actually have royalty split features. This is one of those things that's actually great as well. As you can see on the screen, royalty split features. It's a great thing. You can actually administer who gets paid what for each song. I don't know if they're going to send them out to them manually or whichever the case. But this is absolutely, absolutely a great thing. Now, this might be better than Distro Kids because Distro Kids royalty payout feature, they will actually do the royalty splits for you. But the other people that you're actually splitting your royalties with have to have a Distro Kid account as well. I don't know if this is the case for Two Loss. If it is, then that's okay because that's how Distro Kid and other distribution companies are when it comes to royalty splits. But if it isn't, if they can literally just pay them directly, then Two Loss is the best music distribution company out there. I don't know that information, right? But, you know, I will find out about it. Maybe I'll leave comments in the comment section below when I do get the answer to that. But the fact that they do have the royalty splits feature is a great feature to have. Yet again, it's another feature that, that stood out to me when it came to Two Loss as a music distribution company. All right. The next feature that, that stood out to me when it came to Two Loss is actually their green list 
request feature all right now if you don't know what green listing is green listing is essentially when you actually have somebody else using your music let's say on youtube all right and you get hit by you and they get hit by youtube content id but you actually want them to make money off of your music your song to give you a good example of this my, one of my closest friends is my is my videographer. He does all my music videos, all right? Now, when I release my music video on my YouTube channel, he also releases the same music video on his channel, but he gets the YouTube content ID copyright flag on his because he's not the original owner of the song. Well, with this green list feature, what I actually can will be able to do is actually green list his channel, meaning I can allow him to use my music on his YouTube channel so that he can monetize that music video on his channel as well. This is an amazing feature. This feature alone makes me want to be a part of Two Lost because again, Every time I do a music video, my videographer is going to be putting it on his channel as well. And I wish that he would be able to collect the revenue on his channel the way I collect the revenue on my channel when it comes to the music video. And as you can see, when you go to the, the green list um, request and you actually click on, you know, start a new uh, request, they show you all the different places you can submit a request to. And as you can see, YouTube is one of those places that you could actually do a green list, which is absolutely incredible. This is just another perk that stood out to me. This is not available with DistroKid and all of those different things. At least it doesn't show up front. Maybe I could call them and do a help desk or something to find a way to do it, but they don't have something up front that lets you know, hey, we can do this for you. Here's how you do it, all right? So this is another amazing, amazing feature that Two Loss has that sets them apart, all right? The, now, on the flip side to that, which is another amazing feature that Two Lost has, is they actually have a block request form, which is absolutely the opposite of the green list. This is if somebody is using your music, let's say on SoundCloud, or they, or someone uploaded your music video on, let's say, Daily Motion, for example, and you don't want them collecting revenue off of your music because they didn't get approval from you, you could actually block them. And this is just as dope as the green list. It's literally the opposite. You could block certain sites and certain places from actually using your music without your approval. And as you can see on the screen, this is how the page for the block list request looks like. All right, you could actually submit a new request and they will actually show you all the different places that they could actually block from people using your music without your approval. So this obviously is a great, great feature as well. This is a feature, like I said, that stood out amongst the other features that I've already went over, all right? Now, the next feature to stand out is their um, pitching, priority pitching feature that's available as well directly through their dashboard, just like everything else. All of these features, by the way, are available through their dashboard on the left-hand side. You can literally see them as soon as you log into their account, all right, now or your account. Now, if you don't have an account yet, the downside is you do actually have to create an account first before you can get access to all of this stuff, all right? So if you want to know or see these things, which is why this video is important, because without videos like these, you won't be able to see the dashboard or anything like that without actually signing up with them first, all right? So I signed up with them to be able to show you all of these things, and this is how it looks when you sign up with them. This is how their dashboard looks. This is how everything looks. It looks super clean, looks super nice, all right? And I'm just, I'm just showing you all the benefits, all the benefits that are right in front of your face, right on the dashboard on the left-hand side, as you're going through um, two loss and your personal two loss account, all right? So with, with that being said, going back to the playlist or the pitching, they have priority pitching, which means that they will actually pitch your music, all right, to, to uh, editor, uh, playlist editorials. They'll pitch your music to all of these different things if they approve it. Now, of course, you have to apply, you have to submit a request, I get a feeling that someone personally will listen to the music and see if they're able to actually pitch it for you. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, because they have this, this is a great feature as well. Sure, there's other distribution companies that have this as well. I'm not saying that Two Losses is unique when it comes to this, but it is good and reassuring that they do have this. 
this is one of those benefits that uh, some people do look for when it comes to a music distribution company. So I thought I'd definitely mention that even though other distribution companies have this as well, all right? Now, the next thing that they had that I thought was just uh, absolutely incredible, it's one of those things that it's just like, wow, you guys actually have this too? They have a usage discovery system. This is crazy. So essentially what this means is that is they can actually find out who is using your music on what site and you could actually find out who's using it right and, and, and whether you want them to use it or not it'll show up and you could actually do something about that you could contact the administrators of that website or this that and the third if they choose to actually use your music it's a full usage discovery system this is how it looks like on screen absolutely absolutely amazing the fact that they have this feature as well yet again it's another feature that i don't usually see when it comes to music distribution companies all right now i know these are a lot of features and i know i'm going over a lot of features but i'm just super super impressed with all the features that i have noticed that they have because these are really really great features guys these are the features that you see with your everyday music distribution company all right so i gotta get through them because they're amazing they're incredible and i hope you guys appreciate that i'm showing you all this especially since you can't see all of this stuff for yourself unless you unless you actually create an account all right the next amazing feature that i noticed that they have is charting guys you guys can actually do chart registrations directly through to loss directly through the dashboard if you're trying to get your music charted if you believe that your music should be charted you can actually submit a chart request and you can actually get your music charted and you can do it directly through the dashboard of tula i'm sure there'll be more steps to it and this that and a third but if you want to get your music on the charts and you don't know how to do it you can do it directly through them yet again this is a feature other music distribution companies don't usually have this show kid doesn't have this feature actually the last couple of features i just mentioned this show kid doesn't have and this show kid in my opinion is one of the top music distribution companies in the market and this literally has all the things this show kid has plus more all right so two two losses really really the deal when it comes to at least their benefits all the benefits that they're showing on paper all right now the next benefit that i also noticed that they have is copyright registrations man this is again unique special this is one of this is state of the art this is excellent they will actually help you copyright and register your whatever song that you are releasing with them they will help you get that song copyrighted directly through their dashboard directly through their site yet again ease of access yet again make it easy for you as an artist to not have to find a third party location to get the copyright they actually connect you directly to the copyright um through the copyright office through the us and all of those things to get your music copyrighted right before you release it so you can get your c line so you can get that number into your music so that all the copyright stuff is there upon release of your music yet again another amazing amazing feature that they have that sets them apart from all of the other distribution companies out there and yeah i mean two losses really it's really where it's at. They have a lot of benefits. And the last benefit that I'll go over is, you know, just the icing on the cake for me. You know what I'm saying? If if the icing didn't come to you with any of the other amazing benefits that they have, it's quite simply syncing and publishing. We all know how important this is when you're an independent artist. Syncing and publishing is almost everything. Getting sync licensing and things like that is crucial it's a really great way to get that extra stream of revenue outside of the whatever your music is doing on streaming platforms getting your music on tvs on radio getting it through publishing and all of these things they will actually collect these things for you right and they will actually pitch this stuff for you but i'm getting the sense you gotta like uh, they have to like your music the reason i say that is because it doesn't say submit it says apply now so of course you have to apply you have to submit the song that you want to uh, that you want to do for sync licensing. This, that, and the third, and you go from there, right? If they like it, again, I, I get a sense that they actually have a dedicated team that works on this stuff for you. So, if you have a song that you want to pitch for syncing, you actually have the capability of doing that as well. 
through two loss. That doesn't mean that you're going to get approved just because you have two loss. But the fact that they have this option readily available for you at any given time directly on their dashboard through their site is absolutely, absolutely incredible. But now, of course, I did notice some other benefits of as well. But for the sake of time, since this video is running a little long, all right, I, I, I'm going to stop right there for now. But as you can see, there's tons and tons of benefits and features that Two Lost has that is really different from every other music distribution company out there. Other music distribution companies, the top ones like the DistroKids, TuneCore, United Masters, you know, Ditto, all of those other distribution companies, they don't have half of these things. So the fact that Two Lost has it, it really sets them apart. And I really, really wish that a lot more people knew about them. And I really, really hope that this video will bring awareness to a lot more independent artists out there letting them know that this is an option as well and it is a great option you're looking at the same price you will be looking at with distro kids minus the additional fees plus more perks and guess what you actually get to pick your release dates the reason i mentioned that is because with distro kids 20 dollars plan you do not get to pick your own release dates this is very very hard for independent artists, especially when you're marketing your own stuff and you're trying to plan your own release, this your kid with a $20 plan, you cannot do that. If you want to actually set your own release date and time with DistroKid, you actually have to get the Musician Plus plan, which is $34.99. With two loss, you are actually able to set your release date and not have to pay anything extra from the default, from their first their cheapest plan, the $19.99 plan, you can actually set your own release date. Any other plan that they have passes, by the way, is label plans and things like that. If you're an individual artist, you would only want the $20 plan anyway. All right, again, it's two, it's $2.99 a month or it's 20 for the year. Obviously you save more if you go by, by the year than to do it for basically what, $3 a month. There's 12, there, there's there's 12. So you're looking at 30 plus, do, 30 something plus dollars. If you throw $36, if you plan to do it per month. All right, but if you do it for the year, it's only 20 bucks. So I would recommend you guys do it for the year. All right, smarter that way, cheaper that way. And you'll, you'll have access to all of these amazing benefits and so on and so forth, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. So if you were to ask me, is Two Loss, you know, a good distribution company to sign up with? I would say absolutely, especially with all the benefits that they offer on paper. All right. I have to strongly, strongly consider them as one of the best music distribution companies moving forward. All right. Because like I said, I mean, it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself with just the benefits of a long, just the benefits alone. All right. But that's pretty much it, guys. Now, if there's anybody out there who's currently using Two Loss and you feel that there's something very, very important that I forgot to mention or didn't mention, please leave comments in the comment section below. This is your opportunity to help your fellow independent artists. Leave comments in the comment section below. Let other artists know what there else is there, good or bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be biased or anything like that. But as far as what I see right now, really, really great stuff, guys. So if there's anything out there I don't know about, you guys got to let me know that, all right? Leave it in the comment section below. May I'll pin it to the top so other artists could you could do it as well. And same thing with the benefits. If there's other great benefits that I haven't even mentioned yet, leave it in the comment section below so that other people know it as well. Because a lot of artists do look at the comments of my videos to learn from other artists as well, to know inside out things as well, all right? So make sure you leave comments in regards to Two Loss if you're using it, all right? If you have any more questions on it, also leave comments in the comment section below. If you have any questions in regards to anything else music related, whether music industry tips, music business tips, whatever, leave comments in the comment section below because I'm here to help you as an independent artist, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. I feel like Moses. Big ones. Yeah. Can't nobody hold me. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. I feel like Dale. Big Dad. Yeah. Can't nobody face me. Yeah. I feel like Joseph. Big Joseph. Yeah. Can't nobody break.